Hi, my name is Brandon. I'm Toby. And I'm Josh Toby. And, and we're, we're the, the other team. team. We are a team of 8th graders from Block and Egan Intermediate Schools. We started our body forward project by creating lists of body parts, functions, and systems. We thought about what can go wrong with each one and how to re protect, repair, and make them stronger. After this research, we chose to investigate the spinal cord. The spinal cord is a column of vertebrae made of a tube of nervous tissue. As part of the central nervous system, it works with the brain and the rest of the body, transferring information. Dangers to the spinal cord include brown squad syndrome, injury, and infections. These can lead to paralyzation. Professors in neurological surgery, as well as many others, are working on repairing the spinal cord. We chose to investigate spinal cord injury level C6, an injury about here, as our biomedical engineering problem. People with spinal cord injury level C6 have trouble with mobility, opening doors, and picking up flat objects such as paper due to no finger movement or wrist extension. Here are the solutions looked into today to repair the spinal cord. Of these, many are a common practice while others remain future opportunities. Millions of dollars are spent each year on to research into spinal cord injuries. We, without endless funding, wanted to make a difference in our community. We know someone personally, Ken Epps, who has a C6 SCI, and we wanted to make a difference to him. Our solution for a body forward project is to improve people's lives with a mechanical arm to pick up paper, called POP, which stands for Picks Up Paper. And we made a skit. Oh no, my friend Ken Epps is spinal cord injury and is having difficulty performing simple tasks like opening doors or picking up paper. I can help. Here's a device that opens doors. Halt! That design has already been patented is on, is, and is on the market for $9.89 online. Hmm, let's work together to help Mr. Rex. Here, Pop picks up paper. will allow Mr. Epps to pick up paper. Great, how does Pop work? Just press down with the device. The wheels will roll outward, but not inward due to ratchets, gripping the paper. This seems like a good design. Let's go ask Mr. Epps to try it. Pop worked great, but Mr. Epps recommended that you change it to one with an open end. Here's the device with open ends. Now let's make a more durable version. We thought of using brass, but that was too heavy and expensive at $16 per stroke. We also looked into acrylic plastics, but it was heavy and difficult to work with. We, decide, we decided to build Pop out of epoxy tubing because it is strong and light. During construction, we cut the epoxy tubing to size and sanded down the ends. After that, we glued the pieces together with the epoxy glue and drilled holes. To finish, we attached VEX pieces and generic plastic for the ratchets and joints. The construction cost was about $9 for plastic parts, $4 for epoxy glue, and $5 for VEX pieces, and about $0.01 cent for rubber bands, a total of about $18. This was the end result. This version picks up paper from high tables, coffee tables, carpeting, and even from the ground. Here, let me try it. In conclusion, our body part, spinal cord, works with other parts of the nervous system to keep us healthy. The problem we looked into was having the state of C6 spinal cord injury. Our solution was to design and construct a mechanical arm that picks up paper, improving the life of someone who can't. Patrick Going and many others are currently working on devices that help people with spinal cord injuries. We researched books and countless internet websites. Here's a bibliography. We shared and learned from many experts, including an expert in surgery, someone who has a spinal cord injury himself, and a doctor on the board of directors at El Camino Hospital. We also presented at the Los Altos Sherathon, where we shared with our community our problem, solution, and experience. With Pop, Mr. Epps can easily pick up paper. Without it, the task remains almost impossible for him. For further outreach, we also shared with Molly Hale, someone with a C5 spinal cord injury. As part of Abilities United, she recommended uh, changes pup to pup to help others. This has potential to help four to five million people with spinal cord injuries in the U.S. and numerous others who have difficulty picking up paper. Some of these include people with forms of arthritis, degenerative diseases, stroke, and even some forms of cancer. And most importantly, we have improved Mr. Ed's quality of life. Thank you for your time.